Here is everything we know so far about Low and Alone in Little Nightmares 3. So as we know, the game was just announced, and if it's anything like the past two, it's going to be nothing less than amazing. Now this game is going to be made by a different developer team called Supermassive Games, rather than Tarzier Studios, hopefully I said that right, who developed the previous two. Supermassive Games is the same developer team that made the games like The Quarry, all the Dark Picture anthologies, and Until Dawn. So I think it's safe to say that the game is in good hands. So in this new installment, the story follows the journey of two new characters that we haven't seen before. These characters are low and alone, and their two children trapped within something called the spiral. Think of this as if your imagination can think of it, it's real. That could definitely be terrifying. The two friends will have to work together to survive in a dangerous world full of delusion and escape the grasp of an even greater threat lurking in the shadows. For the first time in the franchise, we'll be able to play co-op with a friend online, alone, or with an AI companion. This is great to hear. Being able to play alongside with a friend will make the experiment so much better, I think. So who are these two new characters? Well, low looks to be the main protagonist. He is, of course, a child, much like the other protagonists in the series. He has dark skin and wears a single white glove on his left hand. He has Afro-style hair with wicks and keeps on a raven mask. He wears a dirty tan long sleeve shirt, brown shorts, and a black cape. He also carries an umbrella made of crow feathers and uses a bow and arrow as a weapon. I believe this is the first time we've seen the main characters with their own weapon, so this definitely means we'll probably be fighting a lot in the game. It also looks like he has some kind of connection with crows, considering the mask and and his umbrella, so that's interesting. But I'm sure we'll learn a lot more about that once we get into the actual game. Lo also seems to have some supernatural abilities, being mirror transportation. Much like Mono, Lo can travel long distances. However, instead of doing this through TVs, Lo uses mirrors instead. Now, like I just mentioned, unlike most of the other characters in the Little Nightmares universe, Lo has his own personal weapon that can be used to defend himself and also used for solving puzzles. So those are the obvious standout characteristics of Lo, and we could also see some similar traits in alone. She is the second protagonist and is also a child. Now, she wears a lime-colored hazardous material suit, almost like the bright yellow rain jacket that Six wears. She can also be seen wearing an old brown mask that used to be worn by pilots, and pilots used to wear these masks for a consistent pressurized supply of oxygen. So I wonder if she has some kind of condition or just wears it for the looks. It does look kind of cool. We can see alone has short frizzy ginger hair tied up into pigtails that stick out. Now, this is somewhat similar to the girl with the braid, so that means they could possibly be the same person. But that's just some fun theorizing and for another video. Alone is quiet like various other characters in the series, although the gameplay footage shows that Alone has the same voice as Mono, so maybe she is actually a he and could be Mono, or it's just a placeholder for now. I'm sure that's the case, but we'll have to wait and see. With that being said, there could be some interesting theories about these characters, so we'll have to wait until we get more information about them. Anyways, Alone Alone in particular seems to be compassionate, as we see here always running over to help Lo onto his feet whenever he falls. Is this important? Well, it could be. We can also assume that she will either have the same or similar abilities like what Lo has. And it's important to note that she can also use an umbrella made from crow feathers. So could they both be connected to crows in some way? Possibly, or she's just able to use it regardless. Now, much like Lo, she also wields a weapon, and hers seems to be what looks like a wrench, and she wears it on her back. We can assume she will be able to use this to defend herself and use it to solve puzzles as well. Now, in the trailer, we also get to see another character that might be significant, and this would be the baby monster. This could be our main antagonist in the game, or just one of the many bosses we will end up fighting. And it's also classified as a boss enemy, so it's probably important. Now, the monster baby seems to be a giant humanoid baby who wears baby accessories, although most of its body is obscured for now. Its face, however, seems to be made out of porcelain material, similar to the bullies, and one of its eyes is shut completely. The monster baby's hair seems to be ripped with little bits of it poking out. So instead of it being human, this could just be a giant doll. I mean, considering that we are in the spiral, it looks like anything could be possible. So what do you guys think of these new characters? Right now, we don't have a bunch of information on them, but it's fun to speculate as to what they're going to be like. The Little Nightmares franchise is a breath of fresh air, so I'm excited to see where this one goes. Let me know what you guys think of this stuff down in the comments. And if you like horror game content like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.